tides. What are tides? They are periodic rises and falls of large bodies of water caused by the pull of the gravity between the Earth and the Moon. The gravitational pull of the Moon causes the oceans to bulge out. Bulge is also created on the opposite side, since Earth is also being pulled towards the Moon and away from the other body of water. This happens twice a day while Earth is rotating. Isaac Newton was the first person to explain this scientifically. There are two main types of tides, spring tides and neap tides. Spring tides occur during the full moon and the new moon. They are the strongest tides because they occur when the earth, the sun, and the moon are in line. The gravitational forces of the moon and the sun both contribute to the tides also. Neap tides are weak tides and occur during the quarter moons. They happen when the gravitational forces of the moon and the sun are level to one another. Eclipses. What is an eclipse? It is when one object gets in between you and another object and blocks your view. An example would be when you're watching TV and your brother comes and stands right in the front of you so you can't see anything. Like tides, there are two main types of eclipses, the solar and the lunar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when the moon travels between the earth and the sun, casting a shadow on the earth, and can only occur during a new moon when the moon passes between earth and the sun. There are four types of solar eclipses, the total, the partial, the annular, and the hybrid. Shadows. The moon's shadow has two parts, the penumbra, which is the faint outer shadow, and partial eclipses are seen from the shadow. It also has the umbra, which is the dark inner shadow, and total eclipses are seen from the shadow. All planets, like Earth, have the same shadows. The path of totality, which is the track of the moon's shadow across Earth's surface, is 10,000 miles long and 100 miles wide. In order to see the sun in full eclipse by the moon, you have to be in the path of totality. The lunar eclipse is another major eclipse. It occurs when the Earth travels between the moon and the sun, casting a shadow on the moon. There are three types of lunar eclipses, the total, the partial, and the penumbral. A lunar eclipse can only occur during a full moon, and only if the moon passes through some portion of the Earth's shadows. Like most things, the moon has a cycle. Every month, the moon goes through a series of changes in its appearance from the Earth. The order of these are New Moon. It's when the moon is positioned between the Earth and the Sun, and they are in approximate alignment. Waxing Crescent. Waxing is used when the light from the moon is seen on the right side of the northern hemisphere, and crescent just means less than one half lit. First quarter. It's when the moon is at a 90 degree angle with the earth and the sun, so we are seeing exactly half the lit moon. Waxing gibbous. Gibbous just means more than one half lit. Full moon. When the earth, moon, and the sun are in approximate alignment, just like the new moon, but instead the moon is on the opposite side of the earth so the entire sunlight part of the moon is facing us. Waning gibbous. Waning is used when the light from the moon is seen on the left side of the northern hemisphere. Third quarter. Waning crescent. And then the cycle repeats. The dotted line from the Earth to the moon represents your line of sight when looking at the moon. To help you visualize how the moon would appear at a point in the cycle, you can look at this larger moon image. For the waning gibbous, third quarter and waning crescent phases, you can mentally turn yourself around and see that the illuminated portion is on your left, just as you see in the picture.